Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Jessie and I make motherhood, lifestyle, and family related content. I wanted to go ahead and sit down and make this video to kind of talk about what's been going on in our lives, how we're feeling after being diagnosed with PCOS, and just kind of how we're dealing with our infertility journey and where we're going from here. I did have another negative month and I am not pregnant this month unfortunately which was kind of to be expected. My ovulation was extremely late in my cycle. It took a while for my menstrual cycle to actually begin so this cycle I think was 43 days long which has been my longest yet, but now we know that I have PCOS and irregular periods are just going to be something that's very normal for me and I just have to continue tracking my ovulation to kind of determine where my window is for when I ovulate and if it happens late, you know, I'm not completely out for the month, but at the same time, it's pretty unlikely that something will happen from it or at least something good will happen from it. Uh, my doctor said that's likely why I had my early loss in November because I probably ovulated really late and the lining of my uterus as I mentioned in my last video is pretty thick so it makes it harder for something to stick I guess. And then my right ovary is cystic and my left one is actually fine so I do ovulate usually once a month and that's also partly why my cycles are relatively regular so a lot of people who have PCOS unfortunately don't get their cycles sometimes for months at a time and sometimes only get it once a year and I'm one of the very fortunate ones who does get a consistent cycle every single month but still even with that it is pretty irregular anywhere from 18 to now 45 days is still considered pretty irregular just not knowing when it's supposed to start what week it's supposed to start in so that is something that we are struggling with and learning to kind of deal with from now on we're going to be focusing on getting my health in check and changing my lifestyle when it comes to my weight and what I'm eating and how I'm exercising and just overall what I'm doing to and putting in my body is something that we're going to have to pay extra attention to. My goal in the beginning when I started this channel was to make a family channel documenting our lives and as we grow as a family and as individuals, do have some content planned coming up. Just talking about what we're doing with our lives outside of trying for our baby and infertility and just me. And Josh and I have just been having a lot of conversations recently about our timeline for our futures and from the beginning we've kind of said okay you know if we get pregnant then that's great and then as the months went on we kind of started to become a little bit more desperate really wanting that piece of our family that we feel like has been missing and we just the other day sat down and reevaluated what we're kind of looking for and we realized that we're not really in any rush to have a baby and we weren't really to begin with but as the months go by and after our loss in November pulled us into this state of desperately wanting another child. We still kind of feel that way, but we're not as focused on that at the moment. We're more focused on our own personal health and well-being. Not saying that we're going to be stopping our trying to conceive journey because we are still trying for a baby. I'm still taking my ovulation tests and tracking how that's going just so that I get a good idea of where I sit every month and kind of the different things that I go through and I want to start tracking my weight and maybe I will share that with you guys just depending. I don't want this to become a weight loss channel. I don't want this to strictly become a trying to conceive channel. This channel is strictly just about our lives and where we are in the moment. Right now that's trying to conceive and that's okay but I want to make sure we just keep this channel the way we originally wanted it to be. We're kind of just thinking on the positive side right now of things. You know, I'm 
overall healthy and well and Olivia is growing and I get to see so many of her milestones. We have so much happening in our lives right now. I'm a cosmetology student. I'll be graduating in September, uh, early September, and I'm so excited for that. But I wanted to make this video to update you guys on our journey and kind of let you know that we may be struggling to get pregnant, but we're not struggling as a family. We are at the moment stronger than I feel we've ever been. And we're not letting this push us back or push us down. And this is something that's just going to make us stronger. And it's made me more aware of my body. PCOS is not something that just develops and comes out of thin air. So I'm happy to just finally have this diagnosis and know that Everything I've struggled through with my childhood from puberty forward is not something that was quote unquote normal for me to be going through and it wasn't my fault a lot of the things and I wish that I would have been diagnosed a lot sooner because it would have probably saved me a lot of troubles and heartaches in the past. We realize that Olivia is not a miracle child. I am not totally infertile even though we are going through an infertility journey right now. It does not mean that I will never conceive. You know maybe one day if we have to we'll go through IVF or IUI or whatever it takes to continue growing our family. We're not just going to give up and stop there. At the moment, that's not something we're able to afford, so that's not something we'll be doing anytime soon, but we're just kind of leaving it in God's hands at the moment. I have mixed feelings, I won't lie. I was very emotional when I started my cycle up again, and that's why I kind of waited a couple of days before I made this video because I was in a very negative state of mind it's really easy to get to a place like that so i did film like a whole bunch of videos and clips of me taking pregnancy test after pregnancy test after pregnancy test this month and all of them just being completely negative and that was very discouraging so i don't think i'll be doing that this time when i'm past ovulation i'm just going to wait until i'm like 10 days past ovulation I think that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. Follow us on all our social medias down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!